It is with a heavy heart and tears in our eyes that we bid farewell to the extraordinary Isabel Le Camp, a woman of mixed blood whose life was a testament to the power of love and the embrace of different cultures. Her passing in Paris, at the tender age of 68, leaves us shattered and yearning for the brilliance she brought to the world. In her solemn words, she referred to herself as the blessed offspring of two mountains, an eloquent representation of her diverse heritage and the depths of her soul. Isabel's journey began with the enchanting union of a European from the Savennes and a young Korean student. The fateful encounter occurred in the year 1950 when Max Olivier Le Camp, a journalist and war correspondent, laid eyes upon the captivating timbre of a young soprano during a mystical gathering. The depths of his passion were incomparable, as he had dedicated himself to the resistance and played a pivotal role in founding agents France Presa, AFP. In the rapturous presence of Pion Yu Hyun, Max found solace and love. He married her, leaving behind his past, and together they embarked on a new chapter in Paris, where their beloved Isabel was born. While Isabel excelled academically, acquiring degrees in Chinese and Korean, her heart yearned for the stage. She graced the silver screen and television series, collaborating with esteemed directors and actors. However, the industry confined her to stereotypical roles, reducing her immense talent to nothing more than a beautiful Eurasian facade. Yet, Isabel refused to be defined by societal limitations. Her literary prowess soon emerged as a beacon of freedom from the shackles of prejudice. Through her poignant storytelling, Isabel liberated herself and her heritage from the confines of bias and cliches. She breathed life into sagas and historical tales, immersing readers in intricately woven narratives. From the dragon's kiss to the blue elephant, she transported us to distant lands and times, infusing her words with meticulous research and unwavering dedication. Her collaborations with Jean-Michel Galliand brought forth literary gems that resonated with audiences far and wide. Beneath the veneer of her writing, the pulse of her ancestry throbbed. Isabel retreated to her family's manor in Monoblet, surrounded by the rugged beauty of the Savennes. In this hallowed space, she delved into the realms of history, fusing the stories of her paternal terroir with the tales of her Asian heritage. Her words became vibrant brushstrokes, painting a vivid portrait of the Savennes and immortalizing the struggles and triumphs of those who called it home. With each publication, she paid homage to her father's only novel, The Fires of Wrath, which explored the depths of the resistance in these fervent lands. Isabel was a force of unity, bringing together like-minded individuals through her literary endeavors. She organized gatherings for passionate writers in Lamalala, Spain, fostering a community of thinkers and dreamers. Her pen became a tool for resistance as she penned impassioned pleas in honor of those who fought against prejudice and religious intolerance. With unwavering determination, she resurrected the voices of courageous souls, from Mary Durant to George Sand, reminding us of the power of compassion and understanding. In her final work, Shadow Among Shadows, Isabel embarked on a breathtaking journey through the depths of human suffering and compassion. The story unfolded in the aftermath of liberation, where the poet Robert Desnos and a young Czech Jew, Leo Radek, forged an indelible bond in the Terrazin camp. It was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, love and friendship can transcend all barriers. As we bid adieu to this luminous soul, we realize that Isabella Camp's journey ends on her Asian vein.